So go to dropbox.com, and I know the screen you're seeing right here indicates that you've already logged on to Dropbox. I know uh, maybe you've logged on and you're seeing something different. So just, just be patient with me here real quick. In the event that you have logged on and typed in www.dropbox.com and you arrive at a place where you haven't used the username and password that you've been provided, that basically means that you're already logged on. So somebody before you has used this browser in order to log on to Dropbox. So it's no problem, just follow these simple steps. Notice here, Joe Snuffy is the person who logged onto this computer before us and, and is still logged on to their Dropbox. So let's just go ahead and click on that right arrow there and go down to sign out. Now you should see a screen here where you're able to type in your username and the password that you have been given. Once you have typed in that username and password, go ahead and just select sign in. If for some reason you get this screen here that says get the most out of Drive install on your computer, you can download and install it, but you're, it's not necessary in order to do this. So go ahead and just select the X. Now notice here on, on the screen in front of us, we see two pictures. Now, although we see single JPG files, this could be any type of file, by the way, and this could also be any type of folder. So we're just going to select it all. Now, it's important to note here, I am using Chrome, the Chrome browser. Browser behavior varies a little bit. So this is done in Chrome. I haven't tested it in Firefox and Internet Explorer and such. So if you have Chrome, it should work exactly like this. Go ahead and hold down the control key on your keyboard while keeping that control key pressed down. Select the A button on your keyboard once. Release the control key on your keyboard. Notice here that it selected and highlighted both of these files here. Now if there was 50 files in here, it'd do the same. And notice here there's a confirmation, two files have been selected. Pretty easy so far? Great. Let's go ahead and just select download. Now I apologize, you can't really see where it actually downloaded, but it'll show in your browser or in your download folder. In a Chrome browser, it shows up at the lower left-hand corner of the browser. So we're going to just tell it to show us where that file is in the browser. And sure enough, there it is right there. It's called Dropbox. Dot zip. Now you're going to have to unzip this file. To unzip this file, we're going to simply do a right click and say open with unzip. You may be using express zip, whatever. Um, you can go ahead. This is not a video on how to extract files using WinZip, although if needed, I can certainly put one out here. Just say WinZip and say extract to. So we're just going to say extract to and it's going to come up with an option. It's going to ask us where do we want to do that. Let's just say that we want to extract to the desktop and we're going to go ahead and hit select, excuse me, extract. Now those files will be extracted to our Windows desktop. Let's go out and take a look. Now here is my Windows desktop. There's the first picture there and there's the second picture there. So both files have successfully downloaded. We see here that we are on the desktop.